Okay, so here I have a butterfly which uh, my son and his friend found while playing in the playground. Uh, it was a dead butterfly and quite beautifully preserved uh, in a very natural position. It has lost uh, its antennae and uh, maybe a few legs but overall it's a very good specimen and today I'm going to try and embed this into resin for which uh, I have here a mold with uh, some resin poured inside and it is still semi-solid so what I need to do is to try and embed this into this resin uh, stick it within and then uh, wait for it to dry so that it is held in position before I can pour the second layer um, here I am positioning it within so that it is in, in the middle and there is gap uh, all around on the sides uh, the tricky thing is not to move it around too much because once it sticks uh, if I move it it will break and I think this is okay now I will keep this to dry so a few hours have passed and uh, the bottom layer of the, uh, the resin is now dry uh, and the butterfly is stuck in position so now I have to pour the second layer of resin on top of the butterfly and for that I have prepared uh, a mix of resin and hardener. I normally do this in a warm water bath so that it makes it less uh, or sorry more viscous uh, and here I'm pouring the second layer of resin. Now um, I usually like to pour the resin so that it fills out the underside uh, of the insect and drives out any air bubbles that are trapped under and then uh, you know pour it on top of the insect. In this case, uh, this butterfly is the first butterfly that I am casting. I've never cast a butterfly before, so I'm not sure how to go about this. The tricky thing is that if you pour it too hard, uh, some of the scales will start to float away from the butterfly and it will look like dust. Um, I didn't realize uh, this at first. But uh, yeah, that is the situation you need to be careful about. Uh, so very gently pour the resin, uh, try not to pour it directly on top of the butterfly. Um, yeah, uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I think I'm a little short on resin. It's just about covering the butterfly. I think I could have done with a little more resin on top. Anyway, I will wait till this dries out and see how it looks and if need be, I can always pour another layer on top once it's dried. In any case, I find that uh, you know pouring multiple layers is better than pouring a lot of resin on top. There's, more ch uh, there's less chances for things to go wrong. And so yeah, this is looking good. I will now take this and keep it somewhere safe so that it can dry out. So here I am, uh, it's been a few hours and the resin is completely set and it's looking really good. My son is also here with me. Uh, and we are going to try and take the uh, cast out of the mold. My son was quite excited to see his butterfly cast within the resin. He has been showing off the butterfly in class. Um, so it would be good to preserve this uh, and uh, show it cast within resin. I think it's looking pretty good let's take out the the cast and see how it looks wow i think it's turned out very good uh, i like the depth of the resin 
it's not too thick and it's looking pretty clear if you look carefully there are some powdered scales floating about but it's not too bad i think overall my first uh, butterfly uh, has come out pretty nicely you can see that the wings are transparent or translucent as well and it's looking pretty neat i'm happy about this